Hi, we're Carlos and Anne, and today we're going to show you how to use the uh, engraver Metric DK8 set. Okay, so the contacts are of the box are? And uh, so as you can see in the box, you can find uh, all these products. You have the user's manual with the, the instruction. You have some protection glasses. A little bag where you can arrange every uh, product that is in the box. You have the CD to install the software on your computer. Uh, even if you can also use the link uh, that is in the description of the product on the website. And you also have the little samples of um, uh, texture material that you can use to test the, the machine. Okay, so I think we should start. We will first show you how to use the engraver with the PC. So for the PC, we're going to start with those who use Windows 7 or before. So you're going to have to download the two links that is going to be in description. So the first one is going to be a file, a uh, X file. So you open it, you install it, and then you're going to have to open the zip one. And in the zip, you run the driver.x and you install it. So you will be able to then open the software. So when this one is installed, you can now put the software on your desktop. So me, it's already on the desktop, but you just have to drag it here, there so you can open it. So when it's done, you just open the thing and run it. You're gonna have an auto-connecting message, so you have to turn on the machine. And when it's done, you're gonna have the platform so you can use it. So now you can drag your picture into the platform. So we're gonna use a Iron Man one. You can choose a lighter or darker one, and we're gonna choose the darker one. You can send your image to the machine, and it's gonna it's gonna download uh, the image. And when it's finished downloading, you can now choose your settings, and with the buttons. Up, down, left and right, you can choose the position of your design on your material. When you're fine with your position, you can now start uh, the machine and it's going to engrave your material. And it's going to stop by itself. So, enjoy! Okay, so after we have downloaded um, both the drivers and the software to control the printer, we only need to send an image to it. It's going to take a few seconds, done. So once it's in the, um, in the machine, we just turn it on. And press the button once, so you can have a preview of how much area it will take. And if you're okay with that, just press it the second time. And it will start engraving. So yeah, right now the machine is working, it's printing, and it's going to take about five minutes to print the uh, image, and we're going to come back uh, with the results. Okay, so when it's done, you just turn the machine off for security, and you have the result here. It's a really detailed Iron Man print, so you can find more products like this in our store, just check it. And if you have any more doubts, we have all the links with the info down here. Uh, so, well, thanks for your time and I hope, well, we hope you enjoy your machine. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, we're going to see how to use it with the iPhone. So first you need to scan the QR code that is underneath the machine. When it's done, it's going to bring you to the App Store so you can download the app and you can open it. So now you can search, but you have to be sure that the Bluetooth is activated so you, it can connect with the machine. So now you can click search and you will have the laser cover that appears. You click on it and it's going to connect with the machine. When it's done, you can now choose your photo that you have uh, to use. Uh, we're going to use the same one as we did with the previous devices and you have to click on effect so you can now send the image to the machine. Uh, it's going to take a bit of time, uh, approximately 90 seconds, but when it's done you can now um, 
you will know it when the machine does the sound. So when the machine does the sound, you can close the app and you can open it again. Uh, you will have to search and connect with the machine again. So you click on it. When it's done, you can now control the machine with the button controller. You can do uh, some precisions for the surface where you want to carve your design. And when you're done with the settings, you can now put the button play and this will stop the carving. Now, to control our engraver with an Android device, what we need to do is follow the link that is pasted just below and press the download button. It's gonna take a while, like any other app. So be patient and once you have it there, um, you will have to click install and install the app as any other app. It will appear like here and we access it. Okay, once we are there, the most import important thing to do first is to connect um, our Android device with the engraver. So we do it via Bluetooth, here's laser cape carver, and now we can choose the picture we want to to print. Um, I'm going to print this bamboo. So um, you have several other options like drawing. Uh, so when you are satisfied with the result, you just press OK and you're going to be in this next window where you can choose uh, the first or second option. First is darker, that's the only difference. And now you send the image to the machine. It's going to take another while, like a couple of minutes. So once it is done, you will have this new screen in which you have several options like uh, move the time, uh, the burning time, uh, or up, down, left, whatever you want to engrave. Um, so once the job is done, you can even power off the machine from your Android phone so you have the full uh, options here. Thank you.